Hey Freedom Fighters, um, this video is for Friday the 3rd, and I couldn't make it over the weekend, so I'm a little late, but I'm making it now. Um, this week's topic is about courage and bravery, and how you can be courageous and um, keep yourself courageous and brave during recovery, because oftentimes people, they have bad days, and they let those bad days rule them, and then they lose their courageousness, so I'm going to talk about what courage is and how you can use it to your benefit. Alright, courage is definitely when, no matter how bad it gets, no matter how much you're hurt, no matter what happens in your personal life, with your eating disorder, with your spouse or loved ones, with friends, family, it's just never, ever giving up. Courage is something that I'm not necessarily, like, born with, but through life experience, we tend to um, develop over time. And I think especially people like us that have gone through a lot of mental illness and gone through so many problems at a young age, we have more courage than... Uh, the normal person would, and we definitely have had to use our, our, um, our courage and our bravery a few more times than just people who have never had mental illness before and have never had to fight for something. And I guess just never give up no matter how hard it gets and no matter you know if things are going your way or not going your way or if you're losing the battle or winning the battle just you have to wake up every single day and you have to start it you have to start over like it's a new day like nothing happened yesterday and you have to just hope for the best you, you can't wake up and dwell in the past or automatically think something's going to happen today because you make your own future and if in your future you want to be a doctor you can be a doctor you're just going to have to work you're just going to have to work hard and you're just going to have to put in the time and the effort and you can be whatever you want to be you can do whatever you want to do and if this year you want to recover from your age disorder so be it you can do it as long as you work hard and get the desired help and make sure you're courageous and brave through the whole entire thing. I know some people, I know we all have our bad days and we have our, our days where we just want to give up and feel like we can't fight anymore because we're just so sick of fighting that we just want to give in and I've been, I've, I've had those days where I'm so sick of fighting my own, my own self and my own mind, and some days I just feel like I don't have the strength to do it anymore. But, um, being creators and brave is when you have those bad days, and when you do it anyway. I mean, we're all gonna have days like that. We're all gonna have the, uh, the thoughts of, do I want to get out of bed today, or... I just want to sit here and self loathe and let your eating sort of win and let your mental illness win. You can't. You have to fight. The only thing you can do is fight. And I know it's hard, but you have to. You have to fight until the end. You can't sit back on something that's not real through your life. You have to fight it. Do the opposite of what it says. Do what you know is right, not what it tells you is right. And I guess something that I've done that helps me be courageous is I've um, found a role model and she's a perfectly healthy person. She's someone I look up to and I love and care about and I just I try
try to do things like she does. Um, she's one of the most courageous people I know, and it's all these amazing things. Not only herself, but others. And I try and see what she does, how she does it, and how she gets through the day. And try and kind of follow in her footsteps. As far as being brave and courageous and fighting, never giving up. Finding a role model is something that definitely helped me. And, um, uh, sorry, I'm kind of tired. Being brave is another thing. You can't be weak throughout this this illness and this fight and recovery and doing what your youngest sort of says you have to do. You have to be brave and you have to go against it. A lot of us know that what it's telling us to do isn't right, but for some reason we do it anyway. You know that you should be eating, but you're not because it, it says you're not worth it. You're not worth it or too fat. Not good enough. But I mean, we know these are lies, but somehow we follow it, even though we know it's wrong. Being brave is standing up against against that and doing what you know is right. I was telling you to do. And I know some days. You're not always going to be able to do that, but those days that you can, that's when you're really being brave. That's when you're really showing courage. And you're making the choices to, I guess, to live. And to live a happy life with that. And to do what you want to do, not what it wants you to do. That's the bottom line. You can't, you can't give in. You have to do what, you know, it's going to be hard for you, but it's the right choice. So, uh, that's all I have to say on courage and bravery, but I'll talk to you guys later this week. Wait, another video on Friday. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.